Hey guys, Miss Philly here. Um, as you know, I went to Minneapolis for a few days. The drive was not as bad as I expected. It went by a little fast, but my ass and legs were numb regardless. So, I mean, I would prefer to drive with someone and then like have them talk and, you know, we can converse back and forth or like, you know, honk at truckers or flash them, you know, fun exciting highway things. But, um, but I mean, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Anyway, as you know, my thrifting adventures were not that good. They weren't that successful. I'm not going to discount Minneapolis completely, though, from thrifting. It's just it could have been the day where inventory was lackluster. But what I failed in thrifting, I made up at the outlet store. So we're going to show you what I got at the outlet store in, well, right now. Before we start, the bag of the day is my Michael Kors Hamilton. I thrifted this from Plato's Closet for... A hundred and seventy-five dollars. I know that's not really a thrifting price, right? But I got twenty percent off plus tax, so I paid like one fifty-five-ish, which is not too bad for this Hamilton. I like it, and it's one of my favorite styles from Michael Kors, and that's the bag of the day for today. Okay, so I went to the Adidas outlet to um to get my trainer some new workout clothes because he keeps wearing the same workout clothes all the time. Which is fine, but you know, because I do the same thing, but you know, he's good looking. He needs to look good, right? So I got him some stuff from Adidas and Ralph Lauren. Ooh, I forgot my other bag. I got him a shirt too. Anyway, we'll just go with this. From the Adidas store. Well, this one is from Ralph Lauren Polo Sport. He's a size large and I just got him these Polo Sport shorts and it says Polo Sport there. And you know, he plays a lot of sports too, so that will work well for him. I feel like I'm shopping for my boyfriend. <laughs> and then I got him these Adidas sweats. And I know he likes gray and he always wears, as you can tell from the, my workout videos, he always wears gray. So I got him these Adidas pants. They're sweat, sweats material. And they have like a little cuff underneath on the, right there. So it's just kind of plain, you know, where does it say Adidas anywhere? Or oh, it says Adidas right here. So it's just whatever, plain. Just to get him some new stuff, you know. It's not going to be in the haul because I already gave it to Nancy, but I went to the cosmetic company outlet. I bought my mom some perfume and then I got Nancy a Tom Ford lippy. I'll insert the clip around here. Some to my haul. I'm not going to include this because I'm actually at Nancy's place right now and I'm going to give it to her. It's a Tom Ford lip balm. This was expensive. It was, where's the price? I don't have the price. It was 44 95 or something like that tom ford was the only one that didn't have a discount at the cco in minneapolis and i don't think she's ever owned any tom ford and this one was one of the cheapest things there <laughs> so and it's a tinted lip balm i believe so hopefully she likes it and she should feel special she's only, the only friend i got anything from well her and my trainer i, I got my trainer some clothes but i didn't uh i didn't uh, hopefully if you want a, a review of this i'm sure nancy will do it on her channel so you can't go to the outlet without visiting... <clears throat> Whoa, that was some dark Vader shit. Now, you can't go to the outlet without visiting the Michael Kors outlet, right? Come on. That's like freaking going to Burger King and not ordering a burger. I got this satchel from Michael Kors. It's not a factory outlet bag, so yeah. It's the Mercer. It is Michael Kors Studio line. Um, it's just your basic kind of Louis Vuitton speedy shaped bag. The leather is really nice. There's feet on the bag. Um, there's also a nice crossbody strap to it. And this is what the inside looks like right there. So I haven't taken out the stuffing. Yeah, this was um, $92 American. So I think in Canadian, it's like 115, 100 and around there, I'm guessing, or maybe 120 around there. So it's not a bad price for this i think it's the, i think this is already sold i'm not 100 percent sure because um i posted this online on one of those like craigslist kind of type uh, sites and i listed it for 220 canadian and someone offered me 185 so if i paid 120 and i saw it for 185 that's going to be a really good profit i mean i would have made 70 dollars on this which is so worth it right 
anyway we're gonna see this they said they're gonna message me tomorrow um, and um, have me drop it off and pay me an extra five dollars for dropping it off so maybe like 190 anyway we'll see how that goes I never trust anything online because like those sites like Kijiji and Craigslist because people are such flakes on there they say yeah I want your shit and then they're not gonna get your shit and they just waste your time or else you meet them somewhere and they don't even show up oh no, I'm not a really a fan of this shape anymore. It just reminds me of like a dog carrier. I bought a Burberry one a long time ago and I was so excited to have it. And then when I showed it to my friend, she's like, ew, that looks like a dog carrier. You're going to carry a dog in it? I'm like, ew. So I ran back to Holt Renfrew, returned it ASAP. And I was like, I'm never going to buy that kind of shape again. So next on Michael Kors, I got these two things. This is a, what is this called? This is called the Michael Kors Abbey Travel Pouch. They had it listed for for $90 yeah their sale price price was $90 but they had 70% off of this so after tax and conversion I basically paid like $24 for it I know right right <laughs> and it's just cute it's like leather trim and orange orange or orange we say orange <laughs> and it's really cute it's just it's just your typical travel pouch like a Louis Vuitton one and it feels like a Louis Vuitton canvas. I, I'm not even going to front with you guys. Anyway, $24. You cannot go wrong with this pouch right now. And there's like the Michael Kors plaque there. Next, I got this wallet. This is the Michael Kors Mercer Carry All Card Case Luggage. They had it listed for $80 as well. Oh, no. This one was $80. So that one, actually, that one I think was that one the pouch i think was 26 and then this was 24 something like that anyway it's nice it opens up like this with like a snap closure and you can fit all your shit in there like there's a card case area there's the bill area and then the coin area so you can't go wrong for like 26 dollars, right or 24 24 26 i know these two things in cost three dollars each basically canadian okay so yeah really cute so that's all I got at Michael Kors they had a bunch of other nice bags and stuff but I just wasn't sure I wasn't prepared I didn't know what would sell I didn't know what style would sell I mean I know I don't know I just think that the outlet unless it's a really good deal that it's mainly a place to go to shop for yourself rather than resell I mean they did have that 70% off clearance rack which in retrospect i maybe should have gotten more things i just i just have a lot of things at home right now to sell so going there to the outlet to stock up really wasn't my plan at all from the get-go so i mean maybe one day when i run out of inventory that i can go there use my money and stock up on shit and then sell it but this time that wasn't the plan at all anyway we got these two things here okay so we went to kate spade and we bought these two makeup bags these two makeup bags retail for $79 Canadian or that's $69 American. I got two of them. These were the last ones. These came out to about $25 Canadian after taxes, I believe, because it was 70% off. Yeah, 70% off. And they're really cute. I got two of them. These were the last ones. I think I said that already. <laughs> but it says trimmed in saffiano leather, and it just opens like that. And... The inside just has one slip pocket, comes with the book, and just one big open space. These would make a really good toiletry bag or a makeup bag for your, you know, your purse or your handbag or whatever. But I like it. It's cute. I'm going to resell one and then the other one I'm going to give to my friend for her birthday because her birthday's coming up. This is called the Jody Blake Avenue in Black. And it came out in 2016, December. So I guess it's like an old stock. They have even the, the, the date there when it came out. <laughs> so the last thing I got from Kate Spade was this bag. You saw it in my last vlog. I modeled it in the mirror. Um, this is called the Kate Spade Sloan Southport Avenue. Now, they have it priced at $370. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. There. $370. I mean, who are you trying to front? You ain't Gucci. <laughs> the leather doesn't seem as luxurious only because 
it's very durable like this is definitely scratch resistant waterproof or water resistant leather it's fairly a big bag like you can see it looks to be about 14 by 8 or maybe 14 by 9 8 and a half around there and it basically has a middle zip compartment and then two open compartments here like one there and one here so it's like a half open bag but it's also secure It also has its long, well not super long, but shoulder strap. This is not crossbody. You can't wear this as a crossbody bag. I mean, you could put a crossbody strap, but it's not a crossbody bag. Also has feet. And it's just, I think it's really chic. I kind of want to keep it for myself, but I listed this on eBay and um, someone offered me like 150. Um, hell's to the no. I paid basically 118 American, which is about 152 Canadian. So the minimal I want to Pay, I want to sell this for is like 190 200 200 would be ideal 190 185 would be acceptable but I'm not expecting to get that from like Depop or anything like that I actually plan on getting that locally things like this where it's more I pay more expensively and people are willing to sp spend a little bit more for a new tags bag I usually do locally because that's how it works for me people who are online, like Depop or YouTube viewers, they don't want to spend like $190, $200 on a Kate Spade bag when they could order you know, it online from Kate Spade when she has her sale or I don't know, from eBay or somewhere else, you know, you know what I mean? So this kind of thing works for me locally more so than um, selling used thrifted things, if you know what I mean. But I actually like the bag and I kind of want to keep it, but I like, you know, I don't, I don't need any more bags. Like my closet is overfold with bags that I, seemingly want to keep yeah so yeah that is my haul that's basically it that's all i bought <laughs> i basically did it i only bought things for people i bought things for my brothers my sisters my mom my trainer and nancy i didn't buy anything for my other two best friends i don't know why only because they're, they're busy and i usually never see them so i thought to myself i'll never see them so there's no point in giving them something now because I don't know. I just don't see them often, so I didn't buy them anything. <laughs> if that kind of is a reason. I love them anyway, regardless. Anyway, I see Nancy all the time, so I was like, I'm going to grab Nancy something, you know. And plus, my other friends aren't really into, like, makeup and bags and stuff. So, and Nancy is into makeup and bags. So, <laughs> that's my justification of it, okay? So this is it. This is my haul. This is what I got from Minneapolis. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry that my my last vlog wasn't as exciting. I'm I'm like it was it was just not. I mean it just wasn't exciting. I mean I could have I could have worn like a hot pink cat suit a la Britney Spears and then like put my hair in pigtails and walk around Valley Village like that. But who wants to see that? Uh, yeah, that's it. it. It was it was a short and really uneventful trip. I mean it was fun, but it wasn't anything exciting to vlog about. You know, it was just enjoying the moment kind of thing. I wish I had found like a Chanel or a Louis and be like. Louis found at Minneapolis thrift store, but no, no, it didn't work out that way. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much to my new subscribers and my old ones. And yeah, it's, it's September, summer's over, and I'm going to be on my fitness journey again. Like, you know, if you've been following me for a while, I have been on a fitness journey since December 16, 2016, or was it December 12? Uh, December 16, 2016 is when I started my fitness journey. And from there until May 2017, I lost 80 pounds. And then I fell off the wagon and gained 30 pounds back. So it's been kind of a yo-yo up and down ride. In August, I was a little bit more consistent working out, but not 100% consistent. So September 1st, we're going to rock it. We're going, you know, hot bodies are made in the winter and fall. So we're going to do that. Summer 2018 is going to be Miss Philly's year. It's going to be the year they get a boyfriend. It's going to be the year that I'm going to be more successful. I just feel it. I just know it. I'm going to remain positive and optimistic. And I hope that you guys join me on this journey. I am so grateful for everybody who watches me, who takes a comment to subscribe and like my videos and message me on Snapchat. It is so appreciated more than you know. And I plan on giving you guys more content, more laughs, more love, and just a mole Miss Philly. <laughs> See you guys in my next video.